Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Jerome. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today we're going to listen to Moon Shooter by Absol. It's a new single. He just announced that he finished the album he's making. Now, we haven't had an Absol album in six years? Is that right? Five year, five or six years? Like It's been seriously a super long time. This is beyond Kendrick level. <laughs> like This man just has not been releasing music. Now, we did release a single a couple months back called Holland Days. I listened to that. It was before I started the channel, so there's no reaction up. But definitely enjoyed that track. I felt like the, the beat really suited him well. Um, but yeah, I, I consider myself a, an Absol fan. Uh, haven't really... Uh, dive deep into his discography. I've, I've definitely just heard uh, more of the, his more popular songs and uh, hear him featured a bunch on different tracks. Um, we actually recently just heard him featured on a, a Lupe Fiasco project, uh, Tetsu and Youth. Go ahead and check that video out. Um, but yeah, expectations, uh, you know, Absol is now since Kendrick is gone is probably the most talented pen on TD, I would say. I, I think that's a, a fair statement to make. Um, but regardless, uh, we're here to enjoy whatever he delivers. I'm excited. It's been forever. Uh, I don't think there's a confirmed release date yet on the album. Um, but anyways, I've been blabbering long enough. Let's just get into the track. Moon Shooter. Absol. Let's get it. Feels really ominous. It's kill or be killed. Not kill or be healed. Fake is the new real. Ooh. Say what happened. This niggas got rich. Talking nonsense. Get yours. Oh man! I mean, just from the get-go, there, the, the very first lyrics we get from the verse are, "It's killer be killed, not healer be healed." Um, I mean, that could speak to an array of things. Just in, in general, in life, you gotta have like that that killer mindset, right? Like, you gotta go get something. You can't just wait for it to come to you. Um, but then also, it might be like the mentality in rougher neighborhoods where, you know, you, there's gang violence and it, it actually literally is kill or be killed. But that was just a really clever line. I thought that was sick. And then towards the end, kind of just letting everyone know that, yeah, he's a lyricist, you know. I decorate my emotions in metaphors, tell stories with allegories, so on and so forth. Who gave a shit? A long lost lyricist. Like I said, I pretty much say with confidence that Absol is the best lyricist on TDE. Um, and it's pretty clear now that Kendrick is off the label. But I, I would like to say that the Absol is more versatile than, than people give him credit for. Because obviously right now I'm just painting him as uh, purely a lyricist, but that, that's untrue. Um, probably my favorite track of his, and it isn't his alone, is on the Black Panther album, Bloody Waters. He's on there with uh, Anderson Pack, I believe. Um, that track in particular, he really showcases like his ability to stay like keep a, a solid rhythm and that track i would say the way he sounds is more prevalent than what he was saying and usually for lyricists like that that's pretty rare but regardless let's hear the chorus so that's an interesting chorus i'm trying to pinpoint exactly what he's trying to say um i think the the first lines in particular um, that there's some meaning to be to be sought out there. So shoot for the moon and keep a gun around. In a world so cold, at least the sun is out. One way that I'm interpreting that is in the realm of success. So um, when you're shooting for the moon, you're aiming for a, a difficult achievement. When he's saying that, I'm like, say you succeed at that, the rap game or whatever, you, you gain popularity, you gain a lot of fans. You're saying you got to keep a gun around. Um, because that's when people come for you. That's when the snakes come slithering out, right? Then he goes on to say, in a world so cold, at least the sun is out. So again, start going with that. So like when you become successful, that's when people, the snakes come out, people start asking for money, this, that, whatever. Um, so the world is cold in that way, but the world still feels cold, even with the sun out. Um, but then that, it also sounds optimistic, like at least the sun is out. So at least you're you're successful i mean like when you think of sun you think of warmth something that gives life you know it sort of aligns with the success part am i reaching probably <laughs> it probably it may not even be that deep but uh you know there's cool things in here uh, moon sun um you know anything temperature and then also just like the introspective thoughts of saying i question everything um, to the same point that I question everything, I still don't know anything. 
and uh, it's funny too because one thing that I always strive for is wisdom and that, that's one of the main things on this channel um, I think it's super important to strive to become a wiser person and pass that down if you have children pass it down to your children otherwise just pass it on to your neighbors and uh, <laughs> The, the more I, th like, realized, so when I was growing up, when I was younger, I always thought, like, adults just, like, knew everything, and, you know, and I would put them on a pedestal because that's the way society expects us to think. And as I've gotten older, as I've become an adult, and as I've had time to mature, obviously, I'm still a young guy. I, I don't want to act like I'm wise yet. I'm not. I want to get there. It's one of my goals. I want to be a wise person. But as I've gotten older, I've noticed it's a... People are dumb, man. <laughs> like, uh, to the point that experience and knowledge helps you mature. We're still pretty much children inside, right? Like, perhaps once you get past like a really old age, like if you're a senior, at that point, I guess it's probably it'd probably be different. But at least young to um, at least young adults to even middle aged adults, like you're still pretty much a kid inside. You're still endlessly learning and um you know the path to wisdom knowledge happiness meaning all of these things are still in progress and i guess i never really understood that until i've begun becoming an adult and i've like talked to my friends about it you know i have deep talks and everything um but anyways that's a rant but i just find that really interesting and if you feel the same way let me know in the comments but it's just a cool realization to realize that adults aren't on a pedestal. Everyone is going through the same process. Everyone is working towards becoming a better person. Um, so take from that what you will. I've never been afraid. I'm protected by a force. I can't really explain and I'm guided by the source. Fuck about my way before I knock you off course. Just real quick. So he referenced the chorus again. Uh, Shoot for the moon. Keep a gun around. Immediately after he says janky promoters always give me the run around. So I, I think that does sort of hint to the idea of success, at least uh, within like the rap game, um, because I, I don't think that the placement of those lines are by mistake. W what I tried to say earlier and probably like could not say at all is probably the case, what he's trying to say here, um, that, you know, promoters, people around you, when you hit success, they all want a piece of it, you know, so you got to be wary. By that means, like, whether that means literally or metaphorically keeping a gun around, you have to be wary of people who are going to try to, um, to leech off of you. Tis the question I had to eat. The industry was giving me indigestion. But opting out ain't an option in my profession. You don't know what I'm talking about, though. All right. That was Moon Shooter. That was a good track, and I do think there's... Um, good meanings behind it and I think where what I was trying to say throughout the track was sort of leading me to what the track is actually about um, so now that I've heard it all you think about it in the grand scheme of things um, moon shooter so the idea of shooting for the moon um, aiming for the stars as some other artists have said is uh, you know aiming for your potential working hard you know trying to accomplish difficult goals challenging goals and much of the track is about things that try to pull you from those goals or um, things that you have to be wary about as you um, aim for the moon. Much of the track, particularly the end of the second verse, um, I encourage you to listen to that part again, uh, there's a lot of reference to um, like this concept within the rap game. So I'll, I'll just read off some lyrics here. I had to eat, the industry was giving me indigestion, but opting out ain't an option in my profession. You don't know what I'm talking about, though. Here's the lesson. So, and uh, I stopped at a couple other times where he references um, the rap game. And uh, I think, from what I say, you could probably get the idea within that. But it also extends beyond rap. And, and this is one of the beauties of, of music and something I always love to think of is how that meaning of him, his, his personal experience within rap can be applied throughout other aspects of life. And I, I truly believe that what he's talking about can be applied to success in general, in, in anything really, in that, like he says in the chorus, the world is so cold. And no matter what niche you're in, no matter what sector you're in, um, when you find success, there's gonna be people who want to either take away from you, leech off of you, 
or do something that has you know not the best intentions it's their own um intentions their own greed in mind and you know a lot of that just stems from humanity being imperfect and you know we're all sinners and you know we, we all want to provide for the people we love in the easiest way possible typically and we do these things even at the expense of the person the the creator the one who found success who, who did all the work who took all the risks you know this and that regardless of the meaning the track overall i, I enjoyed the sound um i, I would definitely preferred the beat of hollandaise over this um, but this was definitely more introspective, I'd say. But either way, don't have to pick one over the other. Definitely enjoyed it. Um, and, and it's just really nice to hear some Absol again. Um, but like I said, evidently he says that the album is done already. I don't know of any release date yet. Um, so if you guys know, go ahead and throw it in the comments. Otherwise, I appreciate you coming out, checking out the video. Hopefully you got something out of it. Otherwise, hopefully you enjoyed the vibes. Um, great track loved it so if you did enjoy please like comment subscribe you know all the normal bs and uh thank you so much for being here you have a blessed day now take it easy peace